New developments out of Oshkosh tonight. The 16-year-old student accused of stabbing the school resource officer at Oshkosh West High School has been charged as an adult in court. Today, for the first time, we're finding out exactly what investigators believe happened during that attack. NBC 26's Nina Sperano has the details from the criminal complaint that was released today. And Nina, what have you learned? Well, Stacey, the 11-page court document identifies Grant Furman as the suspect accused of stabbing Officer Michael Wissink at Oshkosh West on December 3rd. According to these court documents, both Officer Wissink and Grant Furman gave a detailed report of what happened. It says Furman stabbed Officer Wissink in the neck with a two-pronged barbecue fork about 8 to 10 inches long. According to Officer Wissink and Furman's statement, at 9.45 a.m., Furman walked into Wissink's office. He asked the officer to look at something on his computer. That's when Furman attacked the officer from behind so he, quote, wouldn't see it coming. Officer Furman says he planned, or rather, excuse me, Furman says he planned to take Officer Wissing's gun. Court documents say he continued to stab the officer multiple times. Officer Wixing says the two were face to face when he reached for his taser but couldn't grab it, then pulled out a service weapon and fired several times. One of the bullets hit Furman, the other hit Officer Wissing in the arm. Officer Wissing then pinned Furman to the ground with his knees while he called for help. We've also learned in the criminal complaint that Grant Furman had told a friend he wanted to stab Officer Wissing and take his gun. That was weeks before the attack. Investigators also found a Snapchat screenshot from Furman dated December 3rd that had the words, today's the day. In the studio, Nina Sperano, NBC 26. Thank you, Nina. With charges being filed, Grant Furman made his first appearance in court today. He's charged with attempted first degree intentional homicide. Again, he's being charged as an adult. NBC 26's Ryan Curry was in court. He's live now in Oshkosh with more. Ryan. Yes, yeah, Stacey, right now that is the only charge Furman faces. However, the district attorney says that charge is a significant one. He says the details listed in the criminal complaints make sense to charge Furman as an adult. Now, Furman joined the court today via video conference call from the Winnebago County Jail, during which representatives from the district attorney's office asked the judge that Furman be a flight risk and not be allowed to leave the state of Wisconsin. The judge did grant that to the states. When I spoke with the district attorney after the hearing, he said the alleged events are so horrific and very sad to hear. He praised Officer Wissing for preventing any more people from being hurt. Something the district attorney says could have happened. Officer Wissing couldn't have done anything better than how he did things. You know, it's just it's, a, it's amazing his uh, presence and uh, awareness and his ability to uh, handle the situation, contain the situation, and keep it from turning into to something much more traumatic. The judge said bond for $1 million, which is higher than what the state had originally asked for. I went to an address listed for Furman to see if the family wanted to offer any words. A man answered the door and said they did not want to talk at this time. Furman's next court appearance is set for January 6th. Live in Oshkosh, Ryan Curry, NBC 26.